Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys your Divine Masculine Air Sign reading. So this is going to be for you Divine Feminines out there that have a masculine that fall under the sign of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But you can also view this reading if you are an Air Sign Divine Feminine yourself. Obviously, just take what resonates for you and get rid of anything that doesn't. So all the decks I'll be using, as well as these beautiful organites, will be listed down below. And so this one's going to be a short and sweet one here today, you guys. And and then I'm going to do a bonus extended reading at the end. So if you guys are interested in some additional information or messages, there will be that option at the very end. So we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what does your divine masculine want to confess to you from his mind, heart, body, and soul, as well as what is his biggest regret at this time when it comes to you and this connection. And then at the end, I'll go ahead and let you guys know what we're going to go into on the bonus extended. So anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and jump right into these messages for air signs. All right. What do we need to know at this time? What does this masculine want to confess from his mind to you right now? Divine feminine. Let's look at this energy. All right. What does this masculine want to confess to you from his mind? at this time feminine we have pray i know i've been cruel so this i believe is a song from 50 shades of gray right i know i've been cruel so some of you mass or some of you feminines here have a masculine who has been cruel in their behavior towards you, whether it's right, you know, currently, or if this is something from the past so there's this admission here of this energy all right let's see what else what else do we need to know here? Okay, Eight of Wands can't hold back. So the Eight of Wands energy here is about communication, but it's also about attraction and connection. So this masculine, even though he has been cruel, he's feeling this desire and energy to come towards you feminine, perhaps to communicate at this time. So let's see what this is about. Okay, we have the subconscious, you've been in my dreams. So uh, this admission here or confession from this masculine is that you've been in his dreams, feminine, and these have been very, uh, you know, colorful, energetic, passionate dreams, if you know what I'm talking about here. So this to me, it's like, I want to take a bite here. I want to come together. There is this magnetic energy that is drawing him in. So he's thinking about you a lot. He's thinking about communicating. He's thinking about how he wants to come together and to be with you because you're popping up in his energy field all over the place. So this is the current confession. All right, let's get one more. We have the nine of wands. But the thing is, are you defensive against him? Are your defenses up, feminine? The nine of wands is one of those cards of the wounded warrior. It just means that we put somebody through some, some shit. So I know I've been cruel and you have your guard up against me. I know you do. We've been through some stuff. We've been through some trials and tribulations. It looks kind of bleak in there. I feel like this masculine is basically telling you, and I think this is kind of interesting, eight, nine, and then the next card would be the 10 of wands, which means like, this is a burden for me. It's a burden because I want to change this around. I want to, you know, come together and maybe there's a reason why it won't just be so easy to come together. Maybe something went down here or maybe there's a reason that the masculine can't just pop back into your life feminine without some real hard work and dedication, especially to talk things through. So I feel like if something went down here, yes, this masculine is dreaming about you and wanting to come together with you um, and maybe kind of praying and hoping that you'll forgive him if something happened. But there is a burden here as well as in it's very overwhelming. It's almost like it's too, too much to, to handle or to deal with. So that's the energy here. Very fiery and passionate in his mental energy towards you, feminine. So let's just see what his confession of the heart is this week. What is the confession of the heart space this week? Once upon a time, such a beautiful song. You can't save me. Feel like this masculine's confession to you feminine is that you know you may have tried you may have tried to save this masculine you may have felt like you know you could just love the pain out of him you could just heal him bring him back to life through loving him 
And basically he's telling you here that, you know, it's not your fault. It's not your fault that I did what I did or that things turned out the way that they did. This is my issue to heal, not yours. So at the end of the day, you know, you can't save me. I can only save myself. King of Wands. I really like this. This is Leo's energy. To me, this tells me here that this masculine really, really wants to figure out who he is. He really wants to come into his own. He really wants to grow. And he feels that finding his purpose in this life is actually going to bring him that wholeness that he's looking for within himself. I feel like he wants to be a better version of himself for this feminine. See, on the bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Wands. This is just confirming the vibe from earlier here my feelings overwhelm me the only way the only person that can clear this and to deal with this is going to be the king of wands the knight of wands isn't going to be able to do it the knight of wands is still very much just kind of riding around and you know having adventures and having fun short-lived it's all short-term stuff king of wands is long-term king of wands is in it for the long haul so I feel like this particular masculine in his heart space, like he has grown, he has matured. That's why he's coming through as the king. He is figuring out who he is. And you couldn't save him, feminine. And like I said, you might have tried, but he realizes in his heart and his confession to you this week is that I know that it's my job to save myself. And I am finding out who I am through my experiences. So, you know, yes, the mental energy is you've been in my dreams, I feel this energy. I want to connect with you. I want to come towards you. I, I may have been cruel in the past, but I'm taking some sort of responsibility here is what I'm seeing. I'm taking responsibility for these actions. Just got caught up in the moment. Of course, this sounds like an excuse. Sidetracked. He got sidetracked. He got caught up in certain moments. I feel like he was the knight of wands before, but now he is becoming the king of wands. The king of wands doesn't let uh, little flights of fancy or, 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 or little like passionate sidetracked energy, uh, you know, consume him. He's on a mission. He's on, he's got goals. He's not going to let little temporary things sidetrack him. I feel like he did that before. And that perhaps created some sort of issue. Maybe this created you to now have your walls up against him. And so I feel like there has been evolution that has occurred here. He has evolved. He is ascending here into this king of wands. And he wants you to know this from his heart space. I'm learning to love myself. I have to be able to purify my own cup first before I can initiate a connection with you. So this masculine has learned a thing or two with all of the sidetracked crap. Okay, necessary things, necessary distractions have helped him to purify that cup, to really know now what he is looking for. And I just feel like this is a journey back to the self. And you, uh, like I said earlier, you may have tried to be this person to him, be his everything, love him back to health. It did not work feminine because this masculine was always meant to figure out who he was on his own first before he could figure out what this connection is with you. So it has been a journey and maybe for some of you, it's been a long one. All right, let's take a look and see what does his body want to tell you here? What is the confession of his body? his physical world self. Yeah, he does want to send you a message. I picked this up earlier with this card here, eight of wands. Eight of wands is a card of communication. Eight of wands is wanting to come towards someone, but he feels in his heart space that this is the better action here. The better action may be just to send you love and focus on what you guys had rather than focus on what you guys have right now. I feel like what the focus is for this masculine is finding his purpose, figuring out who he is, rather than figuring out what you guys are going to do at, with this connection right now. So the memories remain, send her my love, beautiful song by Journey. It's awesome. So in the physical world, it's kind of like the memories remain. I still think of you and I, 
and I'm sending you my love for now because I can't actually give you my love right now. I can only send it to you. And I can send it to you through my energy. But me finding myself is the most important thing. And it needs to be because that's the only way that I can actually, you know, pr properly share myself with you at a later date. Page of Pentacles. See, I have a plan for us. So that's the plan here. So rather than jumping into action right now, this is the birth of this idea, like the, the birth, birth, birth of this idea. I have a plan for us and my plan and my idea. I don't want to get sidetracked again. I want to be this king of wands. And the only way I can be this king of wands and offer you this cup to initiate a reconnection is when I'm really ready and I am still trying to figure out who I am and find my purpose at this time. That is what that energy looks like. Okay, I like that. I really like that safe you feel like home to me so i feel like this masculine wants you to feel safe with him i do and maybe you don't feel safe with him right now feminine because of this energy here we did see this your guards up you've been wounded here but the masculine i feel has also been wounded as well which is one of the reasons why you know hurt people hurt people that's what that, that's just what happens doesn't make it okay it's just that's why so I feel like this masculine, when he connects with you, feminine, he does feel safe in your embrace. And there might have been a part of him that actually felt like you were going to save him. Maybe he wanted you to save him, feminine. Maybe he said things to you such as, you know, you make me want to be a better person or, you know, you're an angel in my life, you know, you're a blessing. But of course, we know that no one can save you. No one can save you. You have to do the work yourself. So as much as he may have wanted to plug into you and stay there feminine, he knew that he couldn't. He knew that he had to go off into the world and figure out who he was. And I just feel like that's probably a part of the journey right now. We have the four of pentacles. So the four of pentacles means that the mindset is still scarce. So he's still kind of maybe thinking that material things are going to make him feel whole. He might not have figured it out quite yet that there's more to that there's more to life and there's more to security and filling whole than just the material world. So I feel like that's kind of the mindset. The mindset is still scarce. The mindset still believes. It's kind of like the ego is still somewhat running the show, not completely, but the ego is still somewhat running the show. And so in, until this clears and until this masculine can feel really safe opening up his heart space here, I feel like he's going to kind of continue to hold on to who he is in the physical world, who he is in the material world. So that's what his body is trying to tell you right now. Yes, you feel like home to me, but I have a plan here. And my plan isn't for us to actually be physically together right now because of my current mindset, but I'm working on it. That's what I'm getting here from your masculine. Let's take a look and see what his soul wants you to know. What does he want to confess to you from a soul level? After dark, in your passion, I was lost. Okay. So on a soul level, what this masculine is saying here is that you guys have quite the chemistry. <laughs> you guys have quite the passion. But he got lost in this. And, um, so he, he may have felt like it was an energy that was consuming him. It was an energy that was just too intense for him. And he was afraid of getting lost in that energy. So that might be one of the reasons why, if this is your story, he's pulled back and it really feels like he needs to kind of carve something out for himself. He needs to be stable in his own world first because he doesn't want to rely too much on you feminine to feel safe. He wants to be able to feel safe on his own. And I just feel like that's what's going on here is, is he knows that he's got some sort of inner work to do. Now we have the two of cups that want to fall out. I do feel love for you feminine. It, that's what he's telling you on a soul level. Like when we came together and we met and, and we connected, I felt love for you. I felt something here. And it was very, very passionate and it was love filled. But I got lost in that momentarily and I was losing myself. And I did not want to lose, lose myself, which is why I pulled away from this. It felt, I felt safe in your embrace, but I also felt scared. I also felt like maybe this wasn't safe because I was losing my mind. I was losing my place in the world. I was losing who I was in you. 
So some of these masculines could have really pulled away from this connection here because they felt like they didn't, they, they were afraid to lose themselves completely. And because this connection is so intense, that's what started to happen here. I'm saying past tense because I have a, a past tense word was we have memories. Oh, wow. So we have two cards that talk about memories. You guys, this, this masculine definitely there's memories here of the two of you. He thinks about this a lot. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of like in retrospect, like thinking about this connection. So you and this masculine may not be in, in the, uh, actual like conversations or communications right now. Memories. I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. So there might have be, been a lot of time and space that's gone on here. And I do feel like the masculine used to be the knight of wands, but now he is the king of wands, or at least he's working his way into the king of wands energy. He's changing his mindset. Something is shifting here. So something is definitely evolving here. There is ascension here. Uh-huh. I love this. The magician's energy. So the magician is basically learning how to use his tools in a different way. I feel like the masculine probably had a lack of tools before, or he was using his tools in a manipulative way because it was out of survival ego. But now he's been given a new set, a fresh set of tools with the, see, he had a set of tools like a toolbox with the Knight of Wands. But now this is a new set of tools with the King of Wands. We're going to do things differently. We're going to manifest in a different way. We have a different mindset. Mercury's energy. Mercury is about our thoughts. It's about what we think. So when we're thinking differently, we're creating differently. So that is what I'm seeing here on a soul level, that this masculine is telling you, feminine, I'm thinking differently. I have a different mindset. It's not as scarce or I'm clearing the scarcity mindset and I'm manifesting from a more of a wholesome place. So he's wanting you to know this feminine that he is creating from a different mindset this time. And he wants things to be different instead of doing a repeat of perhaps old things that didn't work. It's beautiful. And Mercury, of course, is connected to Gemini and Virgo. So why don't we take a look now and see what is this masculine's biggest regret, feminine? What is this masculine's biggest regret with things that went down between the two of you? All right, we have surfer risk assessment. I do feel like this masculine did take a risk on this connection. Why? Because he felt very strongly towards you, feminine. He just went for it, but he knew it was a risk because what I'm getting from him is that he knew that he was damaged. He knew that he had these issues and these problems, but he went for it anyways. He just took a chance on it, but unfortunately it didn't pay off because he still wasn't ready. And I feel like he knew that on some level, and maybe you did too, but you guys went for it because it felt so intense. It felt so right at the time. I felt like it was right, but it was just the wrong timing. We have passive. See, I won't tell you how I really feel. I feel like one of the masculine's biggest regrets is yes, he did take a risk on this and, and obviously something happened here, but the way that he handled it was very passive. Like he should have been more honest with you. He should have told you how he was really feeling. Maybe there's a lot of regret where he really held back. He felt like it was too risky to open up himself completely. So I feel like there's a double message there. I was very passive when you were asking me things. You were asking me to tell you the truth. You were asking me to be honest with you and I just couldn't. Or... You know, I felt so much, but I was afraid it was too risky. So I didn't tell you how I felt. I never told you I loved you. There, there's this energy too. So there's regret around this. Def oh, sorry. Regret around that. Underneath the surface. Yep. So underneath the surface. So there was so much going on underneath the surface. You are not who you think you are. So this is interesting. This is a masculine who didn't really know who he was at the time. He was the knight of wands. I just keep getting that. He was still figuring out who he was. He wasn't quite there yet, but he has arrived at the king of wands journey and the king of wands figures out who he is. So there is a difference on the journey here from being a youth versus now being, you know, maybe a little bit more mature. So he didn't know who he really was. 
and we're not giving him an excuse here, but when you don't know who you are, you're going to do a lot of things that are going to really help you to figure out who you are. And a lot of those things can be mistakes and hurting other people. And I do feel like the, the feminine probably did get hurt in the process of him trying to figure out who he was. That's what I'm seeing here. But a lot of things that were underneath the surface, a lot of things that were buried, a lot of things that were maybe being repressed, which is what was happening here with how the masculine may have, you know, treated the feminine or what went down between the two of them. So his biggest regret is that he didn't know who he was completely and that he buried a lot of things and, and really didn't deal with them and didn't tell you how he felt. Feminine, biggest regret. Yeah, and we have, to, wow. Fell from grace, fallen angel temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. I really feel, because I said that earlier, this masculine may have said things to you, feminine, such as like you're saving him from himself. You're like an angel that fell from the sky. You're his guiding light. He wants to be a better version of himself. You make him want to be better, all these things. But at the end of the day, you felt like you fell from this pedestal. He may have placed you on a pedestal. He may have put all of his like faith into you, but we know that when we do this, this situation, it's going to fall from grace. Anything that you put on a high pedestal is going to fall because you're putting your, you know, your expectations, you're, you're, you're projecting all of that onto someone else. And it's not really what they are, or who they are. It's what you want them to be. And it doesn't mean that you weren't like an angel feminine. It just means that you fell from that position and it was because this masculine put a lot of maybe pressure on that, that this, this is who you were to him. And then the shadow came in and certain things surfaced and it was just like, okay, maybe, maybe I was wrong about this. So some of you guys may have felt like you fell from grace. And I do feel like this masculine is saying here that his biggest regret is putting you on this pedestal or putting all that pressure or labeling you as such, and then of course taking you down and maybe even devaluing you. I feel like maybe he really boosted you, but then started devaluing you at the end. And that was really confusing to you. And I feel like he's trying to tell you feminine that he feels really badly because he didn't know who he was, that he did these things, that he acted this way. And none of this was about you. It was definitely about him. So that's what we have. So uh, th today is short and sweet, but if you guys would like a couple of extra bonus messages, we are going to go into your masculine's current fantasies and desires. What keeps him up late at night thinking about you and this connection? What do those thoughts look like? And also what does he want to do moving forward? What are his current desires with moving this connection and shifting it into a different direction? So I will put that link down below if you guys are interested in that reading and just thank you so much for choosing to watch this reading today. I hope that it resonated and that you enjoyed it. All right, take care. Bye-bye.